The ocean is the supreme regulator of the climate of our planet. It has soaked up more than 90% of the extra heat, absorbed a quarter of the carbon dioxide, and taken in all the melting ice resulting from human activities. But it pays a heavy price. Warming, acidification, loss of oxygen, and sea level rise. With very dangerous consequences for us and for marine life. Reducing the release of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide will help to avoid the unmanageable. We must also manage the unavoidable. How can the ocean help us to solve the problem of climate change and reduce its impact for people and the environment? International experts have identified 13 strategies from global to local scales. They are not all equally realistic, effective or desirable, but they are concrete options that deserve serious attention by governments and the wider public. First, there are measures which directly tackle the problem of rising carbon dioxide, such as develop marine renewable energy, replant and protect coastal vegetation, which is capable of absorbing carbon dioxide, but also increase the absorption capacity of the ocean by feeding it with nutrients, or add natural alkaline products to decrease ocean acidity. A second type of solution seeks to protect marine plants, animals and ecosystems by controlling the river discharge of sediment and pollution in the ocean, by stopping intensive fishing and over-exploitation of resources, or by creating marine protected areas. In a third category, one could increase the amount of sunlight reflected from Earth to space to slow the warming of the air and ocean. For example, by increasing the reflection of clouds, or else by covering the ocean surface with non-toxic foam to protect it from the sun's rays. But it's no surprise that such stringent geoengineering measures involve very serious risks. Finally, the fourth and last category includes solutions which could help living organisms to adapt faster to climate change. How? By restoring and improving their habitats and ecosystems. Also, by modifying their genes to improve their ability to adapt to change. But here again, one must be cautious because altering living creatures can have serious risks. In the end, there's no miracle solution. Leaving aside those which seem too risky, the others can be helpful on either a local or a global scale. They should be cleverly combined, taking account of regional considerations relating to biodiversity and human activities. Without such subtle arrangements, we will fail. One thing is certain, we need a healthy ocean. <laughs>